Nobody cares about pigs. So I'm continuing to rescue and promote education. There's an epidemic of pigs in need. All the celebrities started getting these cute little tiny pigs, the teacup micro mini nano pigs that don't get over 20 pounds. And the breeders have just taken off with this lie. People get these pigs and by three months old, they're, they're 20 pounds. And 95% of them are rehomed before their first birthday. There are hundreds of thousands of pigs needing homes and there aren't enough sanctuaries to be able to save them all. My little boy, George, was my first real, real rescue. He came from a big hoarding case. They were starved, just very traumatic. And he's always looked for a mommy figure. I think Jenna made him feel safe. He found something in her that he just latched onto. And he's like, you're going to be my mom. And she loves him. He comes up and she just melts. But Jenna was beyond anything that probably any rescuer has dealt with. Two other pigs attacked her and both of her front shoulders were dislocated. She couldn't hold her head up. She was using her front legs and her face to pull herself in different directions to get away from us. But for her to have survived for two and a half years, laying on her side, told me that she had a will to live. So we do physical therapy every single day. And she's using her back leg in a way that she never did before. She will move them a little bit. She'll do little dancing in place type thing. You could see the joy in her face. Like, wow, I get to see the world like I used to. So she started getting softer. She started being less reactive. But she'd let me rub her tummy, and then she let me lay my head on her and cuddle. She's in a place where she's comfortable. She's happy with how she is right now. She knows she's loved, and she gives the love back now. Thank you.